Hello everyone and welcome back to StarCraft Solo 101 Chapter 3. I'm going to show you the different functions of the control panel. Now keep in mind this is just a quick overview of your control panel and we will go more in depth in future tutorials where I show you how to do specific things with the machine. So let's get started. On the right side of the cutter, you will find the touch panel control panel with a few different things on the front. So we'll go over what each of them are. This is to change your settings on your machine itself. Then next to that, we have the recut button and this will recut your previous design. This next one is really fun. This is the USB button and this will be used to open files from an inserted USB drive. This is going to be a really cool function and I can't wait to play with that one. The next one is the stop or cancel the current cut button. That one I've used a couple times already. And then we have the speed force button and that is to set your desired speed or force of your cut. And last but not least is a really important button here is the test cut button. I highly recommend using a test cut every time you do a new cut because you never know what could happen. Then these buttons down here are the speed for moving the head and pinch rollers. If you hit the button in the middle, that actually makes it move slower and faster. So you kind of can toggle that with however you feel the need to move your items. But you can move all sorts of stuff with those little buttons and we'll go more in depth with those. This machine has a pressure sensitive touch screen. So we'll just do the settings menu right here. So I'm going to show you what each of these little buttons means. So the camera is to calibrate the camera to use for the print then cut option here with your machine. Then we have our Wi-Fi option. I'll show you guys how to set up your Wi-Fi um, in a future video, but it's really easy. This actually works on Wi-Fi and not Bluetooth. In the advanced mode, you can set the end of cut options. There's a lot of cool stuff you can set there. Then in advanced settings that has scale and all sorts of more advanced options. Under general settings, you can find all kinds of LED settings, units, language, screensaver, and alarms. And then the sync information, the system information tells you what version you're running and things like that. Let's go into a couple of these settings really quick. First, we're going to go ahead and look at our general settings. This is where you can do all sorts of things like make sure you set your language to your chosen language. There are quite a few options here. So you can find whatever language you're most comfortable using the machine in. Then you can also use the unit button to switch from millimeters to inches. I prefer inches, but it's again up to you. And then we also have a screen and alarm. So we have a screen saver time, which you can change by using the plus buttons, or you can slide the slider. And then you can also have it have an alarm after cut and it can change the LED color when it's done cutting, which is pretty cool. And then you have your LED light that you can change the color. This is just a fun little feature. You can turn the lights off, you can turn them all the way on, and then you can adjust the color to whatever you want. This is really just up to you and what you want to do. And then you just hit the back button to get back to the screen. And you can again mess with the screensaver time really easy. And then the home button will take you back to the main screen. Thanks for joining me for StarCraft Solo 101, Chapter 3, The Control Panel. We will go into much more depth of all the different settings in the control panel as we do further tutorials showing you how to do the different functions with the machine, including things like the print and cut and changing the speed and force, as well as using that USB function to cut just from your USB drive. I'm excited to move on to chapter four, so let's check it out.